Okay, so um, I know you probably can't really see the detail, but I've cleaned the solder off the pads and I've used very carefully, very gently, this knife just to kind of feel and make sure that there's really no solder bumps. You just kind of go over and, and make sure, you know, the pads are smooth and I've used some uh, uh, alcohol wipes to kind of, you know, get rid of the flux and stuff I helped use. I used solder wick and I didn't film it all just because uh, it, it takes forever. <laughs> I mean, it was a, a few hours ago so I took some breaks and stuff. But anyway, so it's ready now. I think what I'm going to do now is put some flux, just a little bit of flux. Where's my brush? I'm going to put a little bit of flux on there. So it's we're not heated up right now. And I think I figured out... There's the brush. I think I figured out what happened um, on the previous, on the first chip. The Once I took it off, and I, I, I took some some pretty good pictures, uh, The there was a row on, on this far edge of the you know, pads the, on the on the actual chip itself, the solder balls weren't melted. So there was about two of these edge rows here that, that didn't really melt. And even when I took off that chip I could see what was left there, you know, the there were just there was just almost no solder and it was really gray. And on the actual there was a about four or six or eight chips I'm sorry, <laughs> four or six or eight solder balls on the back of the chip that were still there and obviously hadn't melted. So I just have to be sure when I use the uh, hot air gun to uh, make sure that I'm going over the whole thing very well. But it, I didn't see any evidence of bridging. Um, I didn't see like, you know, solder that had melted and like touched onto the next uh, pan or anything like that. So that was good. Because I really was kind of convinced that that must have been what happened. Um, so I'm just going to try again and, and make sure that um, I try to get more even across the uh, the whole chip. So first I'm going to put a little bit of flux on here before I heat up. There's probably too much anyway. Where's my... Just gonna pick, pick up a little flux here. Okay. Okay, it's covered. All the pads are covered. So that's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, and then, uh, trying to put the new chip on. So I, I got 12 of these, because I knew I would have problems and issues and, you know, trial and error kind of thing, so... Seems how the first one I got it almost working. Um, nothing blew up or <laughs> sparked or shorted out or anything. I, I think that's pretty good. So, I don't know if you can see it, but here's, you probably can't. So the, the tricky part is putting it back on here, because there's, there's nothing to like guide you other than like the, uh, these white lines you might see on the video. And uh, you just kind of plop it on into the, the flux helps, because it's kind of, you know, 
kind of like a paste almost. A little bit thinner than that, not much. And uh, that's actually pretty good. I'm going to push it over a little bit towards the camera. Wow. It really is good. Maybe like that. Probably my big head's in the way, right? <laughs> okay. It doesn't have, it has to be as good as you can get it, but the, the, the nice thing is when you're doing this, um, the, once the solder melts, it kind of pulls the chip into the right place as the solder balls on the bottom of the chip kind of, you know, as they melt, they try to reach out to the metal pads underneath and it kind of aligns the whole chip when they melt. I, I saw it the first time, it, the whole chip just kind of shifted and I thought, okay, it's done. And I heated a little more and it was, and then, you know, I was done. But, um, so I'll, I'll hope to capture that here. Um, so I'm going to turn off for a few minutes while I heat up the, uh, uh, uh the, uh, sorry, the hot plate and then, um, Turn on when we're ready to to, to have it uh, to to use the uh, the hydrogen. Okay.